channel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So I have a piece that I'm working on that's super special. So if you're new here, I want to let you know why it's special. So April is Organ Donor Awareness Month and I am actually a living kidney donor. I donated my kidney about two years ago to my girlfriend, Kim. And so every year in December, because that's when we had our surgery, I try to do a piece for the kidney disease color, which is green. And then every year in March, I try to do another one. Now I am gonna put some green in this, but Donate Life came out with this graphic and I thought it was so beautiful. It's got ferns and, and butterflies and things like that. And that's not normally my style, but it really just, it spoke to me. So this cedar chest is one that I did a long time ago. So not only are we gonna be painting over paint, so that'll show you how to paint over paint, but I actually did some texture on it and we're gonna sand that off because I wanna put transfers and molds on here. So this piece is, I'm just gonna work on it. I, hopefully you learned something, but it means a lot to me and I wanted to document it. So get ready because we are gonna make an awesome piece for an awesome cause. And if you're an organ donor, happy donor month. This is the piece, okay? So it is a Lane Cedar chest and it has been in my daughter's room for a while. We had it in Wyoming, it's gone through an overseas move. It's a little bit rough. So I'm going to, I saw these colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work with kudzu and let's see, what is this? Kudzu, limeade, daisy, and rebel yellow. And we'll see what we can make out of it. But I'm also going to use a few different transfers. So I'm going to try to use the Fern Woods Transfer by Redesign of Prima, Parisian Butterflies. I am using a lot of products on here and I try to keep it simple most days, but this piece is really important to me, so I'm going all out on it. So again, everything that I use will be in the description below. And if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I love creating and sharing it with you and I always love hearing what you think. And then also if you guys ever have any input as far as things that you wanna learn, I'm happy to hear it and I'm open to it and just let me know and I will try to do videos on it. So let's get started on this piece. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand it first with my surf prep sander. I'm gonna use an 80 grit and probably 120 grit because we're gonna to try to smooth all this texture off, okay? So that's what we're gonna do first. Yesterday I told you I think that we made a mistake cause you and I, we lost our sight. It's all about giving One thing I like to do before I move on is I wanna make sure that my sanding has smoothed down the surface enough to where I don't have a bunch of rough edges. Now for this piece, if I was just going to sand it down and just paint over it, I want a super smooth surface. But because I'm gonna be doing transfers on this piece, I just want it smooth enough to where the paint the surface that the paint goes on is smooth and then I can also put a transfer on it because transfers don't really like to stick to areas that have texture and so I don't wanna deal with that so I just wanna make sure that it is nice and smooth. So we're gonna test this little spot right here with our paint. Okay, so I have soft pink on hand. I'm not gonna be using that for this piece but it's good enough for me to test anyway. So when I'm painting over this, what I'm looking for is any area that is super raised to where I won't be able to put a transfer over it. Now, I can see some areas. So I do see some a few areas of texture, but that is not going to make or break my transfers. So I'm really not concerned about it. Again, if I wanted a really smooth paint finish, then I would go back and I would smooth that down even more but this is looking good. Okay, so I have painted all the areas and tested to make sure that it's not gonna be too, there's not gonna be too much texture and it's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do 
a blending of four different colors. And I'm gonna start from the bottom to the top. So kudzu will be my first one. And then I'm going to do limeade. And then I'm going to do daisy. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm gonna work in sections. So you'll see what I'm doing. I'm going to do a base coat of each color first before I do any blending. That's what I always do. I do a base coat of each color and then I go back and do my second coat and then I start blending. So that's my goal right now is to kind of find all the demarcation lines of all the colors and see where I want it so that way I know how it's gonna blend. So that's what we're gonna do next. So I'm gonna blend the front and I'm actually gonna walk through how I'm doing this and I'm just gonna work on this little section so that way we can focus on how to blend and then I'll blend the rest of the front but I'm gonna I'm gonna dive pretty deep into how to blend this and how to blend these three colors together okay so we're gonna work from the bottom to the top I've had people ask me why do you work from the bottom to the top it's just what I do if you want to work from the top to the bottom, you can. If you are doing a diagonal, you can. This is just how I'm doing it. It's the same process anytime that you do it. So what you're gonna need is paper towels or a cloth. And then you're gonna need, you're gonna need a paintbrush for each color. And then you're gonna need a neutral brush. And you're also gonna need a mister bottle. So we're gonna start with kudzu, which is the bottom one. And what we're doing here is we're killing two birds with one stone. So this is one coat of each of these colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the bottom and then we'll work our way up, but this is gonna put two coats on each of these colors as well as blend it. So these are dry, they dried yesterday. I've also had the question of, what if you do this later and you go back and you blend it? Will it, will it affect it? No, you can still blend it. So we're opening our kudzu. So I've got my kudzu right here. And we are going to focus on putting a second coat on it. Okay, so we're gonna go down here and put our second coat. I mean, you could do this later if you really wanted to, but I just wanna do it now, because I'm already here, right? So I am just, and again, we're just focusing on this area. I feel like it's easier than me showing you how to blend this entire piece. I would do this process across the entire piece also. So I would do it all at once. I would work in sections and I would do the kudzu and the limeade first all across it. And then I would do the limeade and the daisy. So we've got our second coat of the kudzu and we're gonna set that aside. And now we want our limeade. I'm gonna open this up. And again, this is a second coat of it going on. So 
very spring-like colors. So there's our second coat right there, okay? Again, we're just gonna focus on this area. So I did have some stuff going on right here and I sanded it down to the point where I could put a transfer over it. So I'm not really worried about that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my kudzu. I'm gonna take my mister bottle. You also wanna make sure that you've got a paper towel on hand, always. I'm gonna mist it, okay? And I'm going to take my kudzu, I'm gonna dip it in and I'm gonna wipe it off. You don't want a lot of paint on there. And with a light hand, a light hand is very important. I'm gonna start down here and I'm just gonna kinda of lightly brush my way up into that limeade. You can go horizontal, you could even do this if you wanted to at that line. You can go vertical, you can go diagonal, okay? Doesn't matter. What we're just doing is we're trying to soften up that line right now. So again, we're gonna go down, go all the way up into that limeade. It doesn't matter, you're not gonna hurt it. Over here. You can also take your brush and instead of going this way, you can go that way. So we're just going all which ways right now, okay? Now we're gonna set our kudzu aside. We're gonna take our limeade. We're gonna mist it. We don't want it super wet. We're going to dip our limeade in. We're gonna start up here and lightly work our way down into that kudzu, okay? Again, going vertical, diagonal. Pretty much did a good job of erasing that line with the kudzu. I'm gonna take my kudzu brush because I've got the limeade down here and I'm going to wipe it off a little bit because I've got a little bit of limeade on there. Again, just dip it in there, not a lot of paint. There's not a ton of paint on here. And I'm gonna start down here and just lightly, think of a feather duster, like you're just the flick of the wrist. Lightly, 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 lightly go up, okay? Now, after you're done doing that part, okay, so you need a neutral brush. So the neutral brush, what this is, is it's a brush that doesn't have any paint on it. It's not dedicated to any paint jar. So this is actually what we're gonna call like our smoothing brush, erasing brush, I call it a neutral brush. And you're gonna take your water bottle and you're gonna mist this. You're gonna start from up here, or you could do the top, it doesn't matter. I just start from the top. And I'm lightly working the paint back and forth. What this does is help smooth it. You can go vertical. Again, that's the thing about blending is you can go a bunch of different directions. And that helps smooth that area out right there. And there you go, that's smooth. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of clean up that neutral brush because I'm gonna use it for the top colors. You can spray it with your Mr. Bottle, kind of wipe it off. If you wanna go and clean it, you can go clean it. I don't normally do that unless it's like super, totally different colors. So I'm gonna set this aside. I'm going to close up my kudzu and then we're gonna to move to the next step. Okay, so now we're gonna focus on the limeade and the daisy. So I've got my daisy. My limeade is already open. So my limeade, I already did my second coat. I don't need to do that. If anything, you can refresh this line right here. You can put just a little bit of limeade here just to kind of refresh and wet that paint back up. But we don't need to put another coat. We already did our second coat. But the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my second coat of Daisy. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up here, do my second coat of Daisy. Daisy's one of those colors, depending on what you're painting over it, you might have to go back and do a third coat. But I think this is good. I'm gonna take this paint and I'm gonna go right up against that limeade, okay? So now Daisy, the paint is wet. And so I'm gonna work from the bottom to the top again. I'm going to take my limeade, just a little bit. I'm gonna start down here and I'm gonna work my way up into that daisy. I'm going to turn my brush this way and just kind of do this motion. And that helps blend those lines right there. I'm gonna go up vertically. Diagonal. I am going to, there's a little bit 
too much daisy on this brush. So I'm gonna take that. Remember, you always wanna have a paper towel. I'm gonna start down here and kind of work my way up. Now, I'm gonna take my daisy brush, do the same thing, put a small amount of paint on here. Start from up here and I work my way down. Like this. And that is smoothed out. That actually smoothed out a little bit easier than the other two colors. Okay. I didn't mist it when I did it that time because the pet the wet paint was wet, so you can mist it, or if it's wet enough, you don't have to. I am going to mist it now because I'm gonna take my neutral brush and I'm going to just work all the way down. And boom, it is blended. It looks so much different on the camera, but it's blended. And that is how you blend. I thought that we had something special. I thought I handled this so well. I know we had the right intentions, but somehow it came to an end. I was looking for a remedy. I thought I'd lose in front of me. I was looking for a remedy. I thought I'd lose in front of me. Yeah. I have put the transfers on and we've blended it. And now I'm gonna show you some of the final pictures of it. I hope you guys like it, it means a lot to me. Okay, so if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so that you get all the latest videos that I put up. I'm also gonna put everything I used in the comments below so that you guys have a list of products that I used. But again, thank you so much and happy creating.